Thank you, Chairwoman, and I um, want to thank you and, and um, Chairwoman Glick. Um, it's great to be here with colleagues from both chambers, so many dedicated uh, individuals who are committed to serving really our, our most vulnerable residents. And just speaking on the OASIS side of the shop, uh, the, the, the pandemic um, has been, um, you know, really uh, decimated um, our substance use disorder patients, anxieties up, overdoses up through the roof. Um, so we have a lot of work to do, but I, I think we also have um, some opportunity here to once and for all truly make investments in our services for our most vulnerable populations, um, particularly folks who've been so decimated. Um, and, and these agencies have been cut year after year after year. So, you know, some of the things that we're recommending is restoring 20 million in cuts, including the COLA, the 1% COLA that we heard. Um, we, we are supportive of the proposed merger with OMH and OASIS, but we're proposing language with guardrails to really make this a patient-centered merger and not just something for administrative savings. Um, order to allow billing for peers for telehealth, uh, parity for telehealth for office visits, um, guardrails, strict guardrails around the opioid settlement funding coming to New York to ensure that it goes right to treatment. Finally, getting prior authorization for MAT, um, Medicaid done right. Um, last year, there was an agreement that was to many of us not um, administered appropriately. So we have legislation in there about that and the dry appropriation for the federal block grant that is coming our way so that this legislature can put our stamp on what we think those priorities are. Um, and lastly, the integrated license again is a good thing so that we can treat patients holistically um, going to one uh, treatment provider rather than going from doctor to doctor to doctor. So thank you very much both uh, chairs and look forward to being part of this process.